is Arslan Ash going to get the run back? Two guys that have played each other so, so much. Kaifa was telling me, you know, I'm confident, man. Arslan, I'll see you in Grand Finals, man. But yeah, you're not going to win. been looking good as well, you know, taking some big names. So let's see if he can take another one, put oh, him on the list. Absolutely, man. But so interesting to see that, you know, we've got another uh, potential answer to the Feng now. Not going for the Zafina. It is the Nina here. Nice. Kaifa already trying to pile on the wall pressure, taking us under the wall. Look at just the patience there, trying to alternate his timing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and you've got to always watch out for that Dan Kepo as well. Kaipo uses it so well, always ready to use it. See it there, and Arslan goes for the perfect option to beat that back Kepo. Nice. Kaipo tracking that side step as well. Oh, Good okay. way of dealing with that, crushing the high. Yes. We saw as well, you know, Arslan Ash in his last match uh, yesterday against Air Richie. Started off a bit slow, but managed to wake up a little bit and get the sixth round straight. Is it going to be the same here? I don't know. Kaifa looking very good, though. Yeah, Jackson Damage getting those counter hits in as well. Again, back handball coming through. Mm. Oh! And the mid! It's yeah. Kaifa with two quick rounds here against Arslan. Yeah, the counter hits are stacking up, getting real chunky now. Mm -hmm. Can Kaipa keep up the pressure? But we've seen this before, Richie versus Arsenal yesterday. Arsenal was on the back foot, but then just came out swinging afterwards. Absolutely, man. And look at that beautiful punish on the whip down forward. One death from Arslan. He gets a nice little combo. Yeah. He has definitely got the knowledge here with Nina, man. He's been playing this character for a very long time, and there's the throws. No, and not, early. not continuing the chain throw, but still keeping the pressure at the wall. Nice oh. break one plus two, so just side switch. Yeah, the side switch is really, really clever stuff there from Kai, but we get the hop kick now. Rage available, goes to the mid option. Oh! Oh! Came out the running free whiffing and Arslan getting around on the board. Yeah, that was, uh, I think, a mistimed Oki Zemi situation there. Kai, just going a bit early and then ends up whiffing. Arslan on the board now. Closing out a match against Arslan, that's a difficult thing to do, man. He's been so close to losing so many matches, even when we've seen him in America, but always managed to touch it out. Can Kaipa get this match on the board? It's very important. First two actions still. Yeah, the sooner you can get an advantage, the better, especially because it gives you a uh, you know, state select uh, advantage in the final game as well. 100%. We see there the block on the down back three from Arslan, but he didn't get the launch, but he's poking away now. Oh, oh, oh no! no. Oh my God. He didn't get the launch! But wait, buffet. Oh, do we need to buff it? Oh, please, please don't will that into existence. We don't need any more. <laughs> Alright, nice down for two launch there. Kaiba wasn't ready to the, for the punish. And oh, no, Okizemi, two rounds apiece, that final round. All the momentum on us inside as well, but can he close it out? That is the question. Is it going to be the reverse sweep here from Arslan? Goes to the highest Yashida step. You know, both these characters have nice evasive tools, and look at that one, the back tempo. Kaiba just playing it cool. About even on life as well. Uh huh. Plenty of time on the clock. Are we going to try to run it out? Oh, and Kaipa with the life lead right now. He goes for the sweep. And Arslan wasn't ready for it. Ran right, right into it. This could go to the wall. Oh. Didn't get the throw. Back. No break. The throw. That's a 50 50 throw mix up there. Arslan gets incorrectly. The Nina pick looked like he was doing well. He made two rounds. But what's he going to do? Is stage select fun life. He's sticking with the Nina. What do you make of that? I think, honestly, it didn't feel like the Nina was a problem. I think he was answering really, really well to a lot of what Kaipo was doing. Has still a lot of options. Nina's a really, really oppressive character, especially, you know, when your fundamentals are as strong as our slans are. You can do so much damage with her. Yes. Um, it was a little bit unfortunate, the, you know, the keep out, uh, the keep out sweep really uh, working up for Kaipo and leading to the round end. But yeah. Overall, I think Arslan is doing a great job. So. Mixing up the options really well as well. You see a couple of missed opportunities from Arslan, you know, on the punishing. But Kaipa, he's staying very solid. He's, he can feel, he's seen. He's nodding to himself. He's feeling it. He said to me that he was feeling confident, you know, to go up against Arslan since he's had so much practice against him and the other Pakistanis as well. But the Nina Williams is still the choice here. He's locked and loaded now for the rest of the set here with the Irish assassin. Here we go. Biggest stage as well, Nina and Nina's wall carry can really shine here. The butterfly whips could come out at any point. Oh yeah, but does Arslan have the execution for that? You know, this is one of the things very difficult to I mean, do. He won KO 15 yesterday. <laughs> Surely he's got the execution, right? <laughs> Let's go, game number two. Kaipa, can he close it out? So again, small pokes starting out very slow. Yeah. You want to be as compact as possible, especially character like Feng. Get so much counter. Nice, the poison mist coming through. Very good. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we're going to put Kaipa into the corner. Now he jumps over. What he an did, option. He doesn't need Akuma to jump. Arslan, oh, fuck, I'm counting it. Oh, okay. No break. He's pretty, nice guess attack. Yeah, the tech throw, uh, the tech roll, uh, mitigating the damage there. Rage with Feng. Now this is very dangerous. Uh-oh. Oh. 20 
seconds to go. Kuiper's out of range. Gets the shoulder. He just does it. He just does it. Kuiper now. Oh! Still alive. One more hit could take it. On either side, potentially. Oh! oh. He goes for the follow-up on the string, and Kuiper wasn't ready for it. Arslan clutching out that round. But look how close Kuiper made it. Even with a massive life feed. If we get a jab block, this could go to the wall. Oh! Some damage again. What's Kuiper going to do here? Pushing Arslan into the corner. Nice, good way of getting out of port three. Very, very good, yes. All right, down back one, been used a lot here from Kuiper. Evasive. Oh, counter hit on the down four string. Kuiper evens out the rounds. Round three. The Arslan's really good for all the subs as well. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to go to that final round potentially. No, definitely not, man. Kuiper's definitely making him work. Looking solid here with the Feng, the evasiveness as well. You've got to be so, so careful when approaching Feng. And then when Feng is in close range, you've got to be even more careful. You're not safe, no matter where you're. Nice, low parry. Very, very good. We're gonna go for some maximum wall carry there. Look how much wall carry Ben gets now with that down forward four. That's guaranteed here as well. Oh, went for the big sweep, but not working out this time. Oh, Arslan dropped the combo. combo. Yeah, because the axis. Counter hit as well, gets the shoulder. Our son's in rage. We've seen the big Nina combos before. Can uh -oh. he make it? Oh! Orbital hunt. Here we go. Rage available. He oh, the combo. Cool. Still got rage available though. The rage drive is there. 12 seconds to go. Gets sweep. the sweep. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh! He didn't get the ground hit! Oh. And the rage drive coming through! Another clutch round there with a pixel remaining. Arslan Ash. Kaiba just not ready to punish some of these options from Nina. I mean the ground hit not connecting is so unfortunate as yeah. well. Okay, here we go. Kaiba. Fishing for that QCF1 as well. You want to make sure not to get too aggressive though. You know, when you lose these clutch rounds, you start to get a little bit tilted and start to try and steal those rounds back, but you don't want to be too aggressive. Kaipa though gets a nice combo. Yeah, beautiful low parry. So far, he's been really good at guessing the lows. Nice. Good punish on the low as well. Piling the damage. Oh, nice. Again, one more hit situation. Getting the low this time, and Kaipa just like that. Set point. Set point here to beat Arslan Ash and put him into loser's bracket, ladies and lads. Oh my gosh! Arslan trying to get that down forward too. Yeah. Really, really passive start here from Arslan. Using the back two homing move. One of the best homings in the game. Kuiper, decent health deficit here. Got to start doing some things, get back in the game. No punish no. back one. What a launch! Minus 10 into duck. That was the wrong punish. Arslan going to pay for that. Baby. Oh yeah. Still has a bit of a life feed here, Arslan, but he's in the corner now! Here we go! Kaipa! What's it gonna be? One more mix up! Nice break, still alive. 25 seconds to go. Rage available as well. Gets the sweep. Not dead just yet. Oh! Arslan popping off a little bit. Kaipa's like, oh, well done, well done. Oh, you can see that he's stressed. Look at the stress on Arslan's face right now. He clutched out three of those rounds, fun. Oh, that was so close. I mean, Kuiper would have been through if that low hit grounded earlier as well. Not even just that, but it was the end. It was a back turn mix up on the throw, and this time Arslan guessed correctly and still managed to get, make the comeback. Now Kuiper is thinking really hard here. He's thinking hard. He's not going straight back into rematch. He's definitely going to stick with the Feng, but does he go to a stage select or does he just go straight back into rematch? Both guys, you can see the stress on their face. This is a top eight qualifier for the master event here versus fighting ladies and lads. Pakistan versus Spain. Indeed, I, mean, I think we're running out of water. The amount of water getting consumed on stage right now. Yes. But it's it's such a good break between the games, you know. Get a bottle of water, down as much of it as you can. How are we doing, Bertram? Are we awake? Yeah? Are you enjoying the matches right now? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. And it's These only up crazy. from here as well. It's only going to get better and better as we get through his top 24 and uh, go in the top, uh, top eight stages later. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to go to that, into that cinema, boy. Oh, it's so good. I love it, man. I missed it. I missed it. But we're going to the Dragon's Nest now. Hometown advantage for Feng. The walls ever present. Here we go. Let's see if we're going to be getting any sidewall wow. shenanigans as well. Yeah, let's see, man. Pakistan versus uh, Spain. The run back, Kaipa Arslan. Again, starting small, gonna keep yeah. it compact. Yeah, Kaipa back. fishing for the back tempo. And we see Arslan using that homing move because it has so much range and it can beat the back tempo. Good break there on the multi throw, but here we go. The back sway, the higher heater step into the launch. Hey, hey. One more mix up. Goes for the mid. Keeping it simple on the higher heater step. You know, he doesn't need the back tempo, he's got one of his own. Mm. The higher heater step is really good because it actually auto blocks lows. Um, and has really good evasion, you can make a lot of mids with. Yeah, it was a beautiful space jump as well for us. Huh? Yeah. 
using it a lot here now. Look at that, the Hayashida. Oh, oh! That was a very new po poison miss, and Arsenal getting the launch as well. Yep, here we go. Hey, hey. Multi throw again! Gotta be guessing here. Uh -oh. oh, double arm break. Uh -oh. Still alive. Oki situation. Mid option here. Arsenal looking very, very strong now. Kaipo, what's he gonna do? Can he clutch out another round? No, he can't. And here we go. Set point now for Arslan. Changed it all the way around. It's looking shaky for Kaipo now. He's gotta make a three round comeback to win it all. Yeah. Definitely possible though. Oh, such a close game. Nice again, trying to fish for the, for the back tempo. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. They're down for one track in him. Oh, again, Poison Miss not <laughs> quite in range, but it was so near there. Yeah. Here we go now. Oh, no break on the throw again! No yeah. punish on the hot kick. Health lead is slowly stacking up. Definitely, Arslan, man, he has that life lead. Kaipa, how's he gonna. Has he gonna steal it back? He's used that back, back tempo a lot, but Arslan's dealing with it. Time slowly winding down as well, 20 seconds to go. Oh my god. Time becoming a factor right now, guys. 15 seconds left on the top. Rage available now for Kaiba. And oh. there it is. Three rounds straight there from Arslan in that final game. But Kaiba taking it so, so close against Arslan. Arslan managed to get his run back now, finally, a year later. Indeed, and the slide really coming in clutch for, uh, for Arslan. And it was a few rounds where, you know, he was closing out the slide. And it was, as you mentioned before,